Hi, my name is Allie, and I'm a sixth year Bachelor of Music Education student. I believe art education enriches all other subject areas and aspects of life. I believe art education provides many outlets for self-expression. I think art, in any form, can bring people together in compelling ways that other areas cannot. This presentation is my interpretation of a collaborative art project that extends into a community and creates long-lasting ties. This is a year-long or semester-long project meant to be carried out in a smaller community as a greeting or bonding process. This project would be best suited to a high school because of the time needed to create it and the collaborative nature of a more complex finished product. The beginnings of this mural will be built at an interactive gathering where students, teachers, families, and community members will be invited to come meet each other. Attendees will have the chance to put a part of themselves into the mural itself. The last phase of the project is optional and will include interaction with a community-based artist. This mural emphasizes the ties between school and community by having its members partake in an art-based project. Who is involved? Students and their families, teachers, support staff, administration, any other significant figures in the school and community. There are a couple options for this part of the project, depending on spaces available in the school and the community. The piece can be built on a wall in the school or in a gallery or common space in the town. Phase one, brainstorming and mapping. Brainstorm ideas for the theme of the mural. Think of things that are significant to the school and the community. Ask questions like, what do you see around your community? Who are some important figures in our community? Students and teachers will create an image that encompasses these important elements. When that's finished, you can map out the mural. The image will be drawn out large scale directly on the chosen space for the final product. There are two options for this step. The first option is for the image to be mapped out directly on a grid, or the image can be drawn out with smooth lines. The second option means that the sticky notes will not be placed exactly, which can create a work with more texture and depth. Here's some examples. The first one in the top left is more like a grid option. It takes the shape of the sticky notes and it's very square. The second option underneath that has smoother lines. You can tell they didn't follow the shape of the sticky notes. And the third option on the right is on a staircase, so you could potentially put this anywhere in the school that you want. Phase two, distribution. Each member involved in the project will be sent home with a certain color sticky note and will be instructed to write an important message or word on the sticky. This should be completed with someone who is important to them, like family, a friend, or grandparents, etc. This word or short message should be something that is important to families, the community, learning, or friendships. Phase 3, Placing. This phase takes place at the location chosen for the sticky note mural. A gathering will be held where students, staff, and families can place their sticky note on the wall with assistance from student helpers. This phase will take longer than the time allotted on this day. This is only the opening event. Make sure you have sufficient time set aside to complete it and a dedicated group of students. Phase 4, Painting. This is the optional phase depending on how permanent you intend the mural to be. This phase consists of painting the mural directly onto the wall or the space that was chosen. There are a couple options for painting. Number one, remove stickies and paint image as is. Or number two, depending on the lines of the image, whether you chose smooth or square, you may want to alter it a bit for ease of painting. So you can alter the sketch before you paint.
You can also hire a guest or community-based artist to help with the final product. They would not paint the final product in entirety. They would help with the stages of the project. Budgeting. Sticky notes. Budget $30 to $40. A standard pack of sticky notes, 3x3 three three sticky notes, consists of 500 sheets in each pack. A standard sticky note mural consists of about 1,500 to 2,000 notes. Keep in mind the colors needed, the size of the mural, and the size of the sticky notes you want. Rental of the space, if needed, $200 to $300 for one event. So the mural can be displayed in a rented space and then taken down afterwards or displayed at the school or community space and painted on later. Paint, budget two to five thousand dollars depending on the type and quality of paint, size of mural, and whether the mural is indoors or outdoors. And budgeting for an artist would depend on their commission rates. Funding, some possible options for funding could be be provided by organizations like SAS Culture, Saskatchewan Arts Board, and Canadian Council for the Arts. These organizations provide grants for art initiatives in Canada and Saskatchewan and facilitate the collaboration of artists in schools. Some grants from these organizations would be worthwhile to apply for in this case because this project could take up to a full semester to complete or even longer. If chosen, also, outside forces like artists could be funded by these grants. And in closing, thank you for taking the time to view my project. I look forward to seeing other initiatives that people have come up with. Thanks.